some new messages on Metro to tell you about. We're learning about WMATA's new fare modernization efforts. It's all part of the Metro Capital Improvement Program. News Force Joseph Olmo has details. How many times has this happened to you as a Metro rider and all you're trying to do is get through? Now Metro says instead of these C station manager messages on their fare gates, you might start seeing something else. Most of the roughly 400,000 people who ride Metro every day go through these fare gates without any fanfare. But the transit agency also says more than 4,000 times a day, an error message at the fare gates prompts a station manager to get involved. It's kind of annoying when people are like behind me and then I'm like, it looks like I don't know how to like use a tap card or something. It's why over the next few weeks, Metro fare gates will start displaying new messages for deactivated, expired, or invalid cards. The hope is that you knowing what's wrong sooner instead of having to wait for help could save you that valuable time you need when commuting. It'd be very helpful. Sometimes the station managers aren't even around and you're just confused like, what do I do? I need to get to my destination or where I need to go to that. So very convenient. Metro says the new messages are already up and running at eight stations across the system, including New Carrollton, Lundfont, Smithsonian, and Huntington, and should be at all 98 stations in the next few weeks. A small change that Metro hopes will fix an oftentimes annoying problem. I just want it to work right the first time. Don't we all? I'm Joseph Olmo, News 4. One other change coming too, if for some reason you don't tap your smart trip card to get in or out of a station, fare gates will now automatically open without making you wait for a station manager and they will just charge you the regular fare.